Welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hello, you are spiritually connected with Katiba, that's for sure. Okay, look, mentally, they can't grasp your mindset. They can't. People can't. They can't even understand. You got some people out here who can't understand your mindset at all. It's like, uh, they just can't figure it out. They can't figure you out. Like, it's impossible. And for some, it drives them insane. For some, they're just like, ugh. Like, what is this? Who is this person? Like, why do they think like this? Some people want you to think like the average person, but you're just not average. You're not. So they can't figure out your mindset, so they don't like it. So they, they think that you're weird. <laughs> they think that you're like just doing too much. For some, they feel like you're like being rebellious or like they just really trying to figure it out. Like, why are you moving the way that you move? Why do you think the way that you think? They think that... I mean, quite honestly, I don't know exactly what they think. You got to ask these folks. But um, <laughs> they, like, they just don't know. They just don't know. And quite honestly, it's not for them to know. It's not because you guys are totally different and that's okay. So people like this who just can't understand you, they can't understand that it's okay for all of us, for each one of us, to be individuals it's okay for us to have our own thoughts it's okay to have our own uh mindset it's okay to do our own thing it's okay to be who we want to be the average person do not understand that because in society majority of the people are moving around like sheep they are it's clear as day Majority of the people, they think alike. Majority of the people, they want to fit in. So when people see you not caring to fit in, it bothers them. It bothers them because it looks different and they've never seen no one do that. Like they've never seen no one move like you. Or they may have only seen one other person. It's like what are you doing why are you doing this why are you moving like this like this can't be life like how are you maneuvering through life the in the ways in which you are and then you're saying stuff like you're happy <laughs> you're saying stuff like you're free and they're looking at you like well how could you possibly be happy how could you possibly be free and you're doing all this weird stuff but you like, no, nah, what I'm doing ain't weird. What you doing weird because you're moving like the next person. <laughs> People out here moving like the next person. And they're, they're miserable. It's clear as day. They're miserable. So when you tell them that you're figuring things out for you, you're figuring out what works out for you. You're moving for you. You're living life for you. They can't understand that. Because you're learning not to need people in the ways in which every majority of the people need people. Like, you don't need people like that. You don't. You've, you've grown past that. You're growing out of that. So people can't understand the ways in which you move. They can't grasp your mindset. Your mindset is totally different from the average person. The ways in which you think it's top notch, it's next level. Like you really be like on some other stuff. Like, and that's very different. It's very different and it's very unordinary. It's very unorthodox. So when the average person see you thinking in the ways in which you think and moving in the ways in which you move, they like, they turning their nose up. They're turning their nose up because it looks dangerous. It don't look healthy. It don't look healthy to them. And it don't look healthy and it looks dangerous because it's just so different. It's something that they've never experienced. It's something that they're afraid of their selves. When they see you out here making moves, when they see you out here doing stuff, when they see you out here thinking differently, when they see you out here taking risks, it scares them. It scares them just as much as if they were doing it themselves. And this is why they are so afraid for you 
This is why they think that what you're doing is not okay or the ways in which you think is not okay because they can't see it for themselves. They can't see, they could, like they don't see it. They don't see it. They like, that is the weirdest thing ever. Like I don't want it, I don't need it. But deep down inside, it's that fear. It's that fear. So this is why they try to push their fear off onto you. When they see you being free. When they see you being free. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. It scares them so much as if they were doing it themselves. So they tell themselves that you couldn't possibly... No, nah, you couldn't possibly be happy doing that. You couldn't possibly be be cool living life the way in which you live. You can't possibly be moving, um, content with moving in the ways in which you move. Your mental couldn't be good because you are able to, because you be alone, like you be okay with being alone. Like you got, you must need people. This is what they're thinking. You must need people. Like we all need people. You must need people. These are the same people who's calling people, you know, every day, need people around all the time or just have people around all the time. So when they see you being okay with not doing that, when they see you with your small family, when they see you out here doing stuff alone, when they see you with only one or two friends, they think you're weird. But no, you just different. And you were born to be different. That's what they don't understand. And that's okay. But then you have people trying to figure you out. So like, nah, they shouldn't be trying to figure you out because they, they won't be able to figure you out. Because there's certain things like in this life, it's certain things that you just must experience. And I pretty much with everything for real for you must experience to truly understand. So this is why you're misunderstood because people aren't having the same experiences in which you are having. So when they judge you, they're judging based off of nothing, like nothingness. They don't have nothing to compare it to because they've never done it. They've never seen it be done. So when they see it be done with you for the first time, they just think that it's impossible. It has to be impossible. Like you have to be like lying or you have to be like, not okay like are you okay upstairs this is what they be thinking like you must not be okay upstairs but you like no it's the things that i'm doing what they don't understand it's the things that you're doing that made you okay upstairs like you literally escape escaped like you are constantly escaping this matrix and that's what they don't understand like a lot of people they didn't see the movie the matrix and they still don't understand like that we're living in the matrix. They don't even understand like these movies be like real, telling real stuff and real life scenarios and like giving us the game, giving us the juice. But you understand that. So when you it's like once you <laughs> once you start to learn information, you can't unlearn it. You can't unsee it. And unlike other people who just brush it off, who don't deal with stuff. You are a person who deal with stuff. You deal with yourself. You deal with your problems. And so, and you deal with life. And so with that, you start to learn things. So you start to move differently. Like, it's the saying, like, if you knew better, you do better. It's like, once you start to know better, it's very hard. It's like, you're going to constantly keep getting this urge to do better until you do it it's hard with you you can't brush it off but i think a lot of people they get that urge as well but they don't abide they don't listen and this is what causes stuff like depression because people not listening like they know what they can do they know but it's scary you're a person who take risk you take many risks you're not afraid of failure you're not afraid to get hurt you're not afraid to get knocked down. You're not afraid to be wrong. You're just not because you've done done all that before. You didn't did it. It's like, what's the worst that can happen? But you know that if you do get through it, it's going to be so much beauty on the other side. You know that with everything, it's a lesson. 
it's a blessing. Like, <laughs> like you done made it. You done made it through some of the toughest storms and some of the toughest battles. So when people see you thinking the way you think, it just looks like too good to be true. Some people think you out here faking. They think you out here faking and just like, no, they got to be, it got to be more to it. But it's like, no, this is it. Like, you're so authentic. You're so true to yourself, okay? That people think that it's just too good to be true. Like, what are you hiding? But you're like, no, I go through stuff too, but I deal with it on my own. Or I deal with it with those that can genuinely help me. You're not just out here bashing out all your problems to any and everybody who gonna listen. Like, you not. Or if you do, you consciously like think about it like, what was I, what was I on like? But that's that spiritual growth in you. People, the average person isn't constantly growing spiritually like you. And one of the main reasons is because they have a lot of noise. So when people see you quiet and down your noise, when people see you isolating yourself, when people see you growing and just starting to think differently, they don't understand why. That's because it's hard for them to get quiet, be still, be alone. So their mindset isn't improving like yours. Your mindset is constantly improving because you're able to be with yourself. So therefore you're able to connect with the most high and you're able to like get a more clear, clear a more clear vision. Like you look at the world and you say, you look at the majority of people in the world and you, you can consciously see that this ain't working out. So you want to do stuff a little differently and that's okay. That is okay. I'm here to tell you that that is okay. So when people don't understand your mindset, that's not a you problem. That's a them problem. And you don't have to like overly try to explain to people uh, why you think the way that you think. Because what will happen is you're going to tell them and they're still not going to understand. They probably just think you're crazy after that, for real, for real. <laughs> they probably just think, like, you got some type of mental issues going on. Like, because you're not like nobody. You're you. So, if this video resonates, if it hit different, however you feel about the video, let me know how so in the comment section below. If you're new here, I do invite you to hit to that. 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 <sighs> that subscribe button. That's all I have for this video. Stay spiritually you, stay spiritually in tune. I'll see y'all in the next one.